Here we go. Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, 50 years ago, Sister Eloise Hesburgh, a nun from the Midwest, dressed in full habit, headed to New York City to attend fashion shows in order to establish a fashion program at a small women's college right here in Milwaukee. Around that same time, 50 years ago, Eunice Walker Johnson, a wealthy African-American woman from Chicago and owner of Ebony Magazine, created the Traveling Ebony Fashion Fair. And to celebrate these golden anniversaries, the Milwaukee Art Museum is hosting a special fashion exhibit. So joining us now from Mount Mary University's fashion program is Sandy Kaiser, and Sarah Eichhorn. Welcome to the Morning Blend, both of you. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Thanks for being here. I think this is exciting. So the, the connection then between um, Mount Mary and, and the Ebony Fashion Show has come together to celebrate how many years together? Well, 50 years of fashion at Mount Mary University and 50 years that the the Ebony Show ran. It's a really interesting parallel and there were many connections in between. Uh, of course, we started 50 years ago the first um, four-year program in the country offering a, a dedicated fashion program. There were two-year programs in the 1960s, but not four-year. That's impressive. And Sister Eloise Hesburg was, was our founder. She was um, tapped by the university administration who said, you know, we're a women's college. We want a football team. Deliver <laughs> us our football team. And so the fashion department was it. And we quickly um, connected with designers in New York through Eileen Ryan, who was the uh, editor of the Milwaukee Journal, the women's editor. And she was able to go to fashion shows, and we had designers coming to Milwaukee. And she, she got us off to a really strong start. I would have loved to have been one of the models walking the runway yeah. and look down and see all these nuns in their, in their <laughs> full habit thinking, what are these ladies doing in New York City? going to a fashion show. And, and of course they tra traveled in a pack because in those days they wouldn't have traveled alone. Right. So she took the president of the university, the head of the art department, the head of the home ec department. They were all with her in the front row. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so 13 of Mount Mary's Ebony Fashion Fair garments are on display at Inspiring Beauty, 50 Years of Ebony Fashion Fair. So tell us about this other Ebony Fashion Fair, um, the garment, too, that we want to talk about that's part of the mm -hmm. historic collection. Is it the one that's sitting to the right of you yeah. there? So this is a Todd Oldham piece. Um, it is one of the Beautiful. Ebony purchases. Um, well, this is just one of over 10,000 artifacts that we have at Mount Mary in our historic costume collection. So does this stay at Mount Mary? This does stay at Mount okay. Mary. And we do use these garments for um, student inspiration, education purposes. We use them in the classroom um, and, you know, give them kind of a hands-on experience of what fashion history actually is, dating mm -hmm. back from the 18th century to contemporary times. Did this one, is this the one that inspired another student creation? N not this one. Okay, not this um, one. But the interesting thing is that the Ebony Fashion Fair, when it was in Milwaukee, was um, at Mount Mary University for four years. Okay. So <clears throat> 1996, 97, 98, um, all, and 2001, it was hosted at Mount Mary University. And then, because when we heard that the Ebony Fashion Fair was going to be auctioning off some of their pieces, we were lucky enough to buy 22 pieces at oh, auction. Wow. And the, the piece that we saw on screen there, that blue piece, that was the piece that inspired. So this piece right here is one that's in the, the fashion fair, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one inspired the one next to me. Is that correct? Um, actually, there, it's, an, it's another Second one, that another color. One. Uh, there, okay. But this is the pe uh, piece that was inspired by an Anna Sui okay. garment at the show. Uh, the, the people at the Beautiful. art museum. Uh, selected 13 of our pieces to be featured. Um, it's an add-on, so when this exhibit travels, these pieces are unique only to Milwaukee. Okay. And as a student assignment, we asked the, some seniors to be inspired by any of our pieces. And um, this was inspired by Anna Sui. It's made by Janelle Judy, and the crystals were donated by uh, Swarovski. It's beautiful, it's really beautiful. Um, what do you think people can learn from this exhibit? You know, why, why do you want people to come and, and see all this fashion? Is it really about celebrating the connection of, of fashion in Mount Mary? Is it more about inspiring different fashion trends? Well, I think that, that um, the Ebony Show in general was all about empowering women. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Eunice Johnson, and this is where the parallels are, uh, black women weren't uh, regular at the fashion shows in Paris or New York. And so she w 
sort of pushed her way in and she didn't borrow these clothes she bought these clothes and eventually made herself um, a force to be reckoned with buying some of the most um, flashy and um, out there clothes on the runway because that's what the the ebony fashion fair uh, attendees wanted to see. So yeah, great. Real pioneers. Yeah, so how are you celebrating this and how can people participate or see some of the exhibit? We are, um, Mount Mary is hosting a gala fundraiser on March 21st that's going to benefit the historic costume collection as well as our fashion department programs. It's called Threads of Fashion. So that's one thing that we're doing to celebrate and to kind of mark our milestones throughout the, the past 50 years. So. Wonderful. We what do people wear to it? Do they go fashion forward? Do they go oh, dressy? Oh, definitely. <laughs> this is going to be a cocktail event. Um, and um, we're going to have two of our illustrious um, alumni there, Donna Rico and Karen Davidson. Both graduated the same year. Both uh, Donna Rico is designing her own line. Um, Michelle Obama has worn it. Um, many famous people have worn it. And Karen Davidson design is the design director for Harley Davidson Motor Clothes. That is Exciting. so cool. Yeah, so here's the information that we want to share with you because this is a really fun thing for us to celebrate as a community. The Threads of Fashion Celebrating 50 Fabulous Years is happening again Saturday, March 21st at, first at 6.30 p.m. The phone number to call is on your screen or you can visit mtmarymountmary.edu for more information as well. And we also know that the things are going on at the Milwaukee Art Museum, which is a fun way for people to see this exhibit and to participate in it as well. Nice Thanks, to ladies. see you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Beautiful pieces. Yeah.